Here's the Google Pixel Watch 2. I'm going to show you how to set, set this up step by step. Now I'm going to be using my uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, an Android phone, all right? First thing is go ahead and turn the watch on, press and hold that crown button for like three to five seconds and then let go and just wait for it to turn on, okay? And then from uh, after you turn that on, you want to go ahead and go to your uh, Google Play Store and we want to download the Pixel Watch app. So let me go to my Play Store here. Just type in uh, Google Pixel Watch and then the icon here looks just like that watch right there. So once you uh, download, install it, sign in and then go ahead and open it up and hopefully you're at this page right here. Uh, also, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Let me go to my settings here, and mine's under connections. I see Bluetooth, Wi-Fi there, and my Bluetooth is off. So let me just go ahead and turn my Bluetooth on. Okay, now let me just go back to the app here, and now let's go ahead and get this started. Let's tap on continue right there. In terms of uh, service here, these are optional it's up to you i'll keep them both selected for myself and i will tap on i agree connect your watch this may take a moment okay choose a watch manage ba, 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 ba. okay so i'm going to go ahead and just tap on right here the pixel watch 2 right there starting to pair this could take a moment oh this has popped up here bluetooth request Pass keys, the same number on there as on there, so we're good to go. And I'm going to tap on pair. This may take a moment here, so let's just be patient. Okay, now it says sign into your Google account. So for myself, I will go down and click on sign in. So I'm signing in right now. And it says here, copy your watch, copy your Google accounts to your watch. And for myself, I will tap on copy. Let me use my passcode here. Okay, additional legal terms and disclosures. Go ahead and read through all this. And if you agree, tap on or you accept, tap on I accept down here. And here's a little tutorial that you can go ahead and read read through this, okay? I'm just going to go fast. How to change your uh, switch like bands, how to remove your bands, the touch band, how to strap the watch on, set watch orientation. So I'm going to I'm going to put this on my left hand like this. So it's on my left my left wrist and the crown is going to be on the right. So that's exactly how I want it. I will tap on continue. Elevate your well-being with Fitbit, now a part of Google. You guys know Google bought out Fitbit. You can uh, do not now and never do it, or you can go ahead and, or, or you can do not now and do it later, or you can go ahead and continue to do it now. Let's just go ahead and do it now. We'll go ahead and continue. And it's just a little tutorial here. Track smarter, train harder. You guys go ahead and read that through that yourself. Take charge of your health. Get deeper sleep and stress insights. This is all with the, with the Fitbit app, all right? Download the Fitbit app and connect your watch. So for myself, I will go ahead and install Fitbit. You can always go not now. You don't have to use the Fitbit app, okay? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do mine right now. Install Fitbit. There it is right there. I'll tap on install. Now it's installing. Ready to connect to your watch to your Fitbit. Not now. You can open up Fitbit. I'm going to go ahead and tap on open up right now. And I get the option I can sign in with Google or sign in with Fitbit. For myself, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with Google right there. And I'm going to sign in. Looks like you're new to Fitbit. I can sign in with an existing Fitbit account or I can continue as a new user. I'm going to go with continue as a new user. Go ahead and add a profile, height, weight, your uh, sex and all that. And then save and continue. Understand your privacy on Fitbit, you know, uh, what data is collected. Just go ahead and read through all that. And then you must consent or agree to continue, okay? So let me tap on that, tap on that, and I'll tap on agree to continue. Fitbit is ready to use. And I'll tap on continue right there. Help build better products and advance health research. Go ahead and read through these. And this should be optional. You can go no thanks or I agree. For me, I'm fine. I'll go ahead and agree with it. 
email and notification preferences I mean news and updates research infights that's up to you okay so I'm fine with all these toggled on and or actually for myself I'm not interested I'll toggle those off and I'll save and continue Google Pixel Watch 2, set up personal health and fitness goals and get insights with Fitbit. Let's go and set up. Stop on set up right there. Connect Google Pixel Watch 2 to the Fitbit app. Scroll, go ahead and read through all that. Scroll all the way down and tap on I agree if you agree. Connecting to your watch. All right, so that connecting took about like 30 seconds, but now it says your watch is connected to Fitbit app. You're ready to track your exercise, heart rate, sleep, other activity in the Fitbit app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on done right there. Fitbit Premium, they're offering me a six-month premium membership. If you want it, you can clap, click on uh, Get Premium. For me, I'm not interested. I'll just tap on the X right there. You're ready to use Fitbit on your watch. Let me tap on Continue right there. Now I get your Google Pixel watch comes with safety features. Go ahead and read through that. And then tap on continue. Uh, get things done with Google Assistant. You guys can go ahead and read through that. Google Assistant, go ahead and read through all this. If you want to turn it on, turn it on for me. I'm, I'm just going to go with no thanks. Google Partners and Services, learn how your assistant works with different services to help you get things done. And you can go ahead and just tap on next. Access your assistant and say, hey Google. I guess I can tap on more down there. You can ask certain questions. You can skip or you can say, I agree. I'll just agree to that. Activate voice match to use um, Hey Google. So scroll all the way down and you get the option to skip or I agree. So that's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and skip. I can always do that later if I wish. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. So uh, your assistant is set up and uh, just press and hold the side button to talk to your assistant. Just read through that yourself. Set a lock for your watch. Basically, a password. You can make it like a pattern, or you can do a four-digit PIN, or you can skip it. I would advise put some kind of password in there. I'm just going to go ahead and do a PIN, and I'm going to enter my PIN on the watch here itself. So after you do it one time, you need to confirm again. So let me confirm again. All right, now it says setting up. Here's the Google Pay. You can uh, uh, the um, Google Pay. You can set it up now, or you can do not now and never do it, or you can do not now and set it up later. Okay, for me, I'm gonna just go not now, and I'll set this up for later for myself. Select apps for your watch. Find more apps on Google Play and install them from your phone or watch. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and set up here, or you can do not now and never do it, or do not now and set up later on if you want to download more apps. Update your Google Pixel Watch. You're going to need your charger. Grab your charger and go ahead and. All right, so that's on there. And then I'm going to connect this. All right, so it's on the charger. I'm going to tap on continue there. So it's updating, but go ahead and keep the watch here. This may take a little while, but you can go ahead and explore your watch as well if you want. But just keep the watch next to the phone. Okay, so I'm going to let this run now. So it said that the uh, watch was charging for like 10 minutes and now it says system update installing. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And you can see a progress bar on there. It looks like I'm about halfway done. You can use your phone during the update too. Just make sure you keep the watch close, okay? And just don't close your, uh, your app, okay? Now it says optimizing your device. This may take a while. And we get another progress bar there. Okay, it just said the watch is restarting. Setup is complete. Your watch may need to restart. It's already restarting by itself. And down here, stay up to date with Google hardware product related. You can have that checked if you wish. I, for me, I'm fine without it. I'm going to tap on done right there. Watch successfully linked. And the Google Watch is booting back up here. Okay, let me put my passcode in. Now it says starting, and there we go. So here's the uh, Google Pixel app here, and then let me just go to the Fitbit app here. Let me make sure, let me click on this little, make sure that it's synced, Google Pixel Watch 2, last sync just now. Okay, perfect, so there you guys go. Looks like we are in business. 
and on the watch itself, you can learn how to uh, use a new watch on here as well. You can go ahead and read through this. Like, let's start with swipes, so and so, and on and on. But you guys can do that yourself, okay? Anyway, I'm all set up, ready to go. Questions or issues, comment below.